Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to go through how to duplicate an object. So in this scene, we've got this shelf down here as part of this filing cabinet. And what we want to do is duplicate this up, so make different shelves using just this one, but move it with some sort of a command so it, it, they're evenly spaced. Now, you could do this manually by by pressing Control D. So if you do that, Control D will duplicate the object and move it up and then do that again but just doing this quickly by eye is going to be quite hard and you can go inside the channel editor to like change the translate Y but if you're doing some sort of a different scene where there's multiple objects so you need to rotate them and loads of different things like that it's easier if there's a certain way or command to duplicate an object with a given space and also we're going to go through how to transfer attributes so for instance if we set up the UVs of this object after we've duplicated them we won't want to then go in and set up the UVs for each shelf because each shelf is exactly the same so they'll have the same UVs and it's a good idea to keep in mind that you'll want to set up the UVs before and then duplicate but we're going to show you a way that you can get around that if you ever have two identical objects and you want to transfer the UVs across. So to start off with, duplicating the object, as we can say you can press Control D and move the object about. So if we move this to about here, I'd, I'd say that's about some sort of a position we want to move it to and then redo the shelf again. So if you look that's about 6.3. So instead of duplicating this over again and typing in 6.3 or adding 6.3 6 each time, what we can use is the duplicate special command so we'll delete that and it's a good idea to have your objects transforms freezed so it makes it a little bit more easier so moving that up we saw that it was 6.3 we want that to be so if you select your object and go to edit duplicate special and we'll go to the little option box and you can go edit reset settings if you've done anything there and there's a few options so we want this to copy it we don't want we'll group it under the world so we can do new groups different things like that and for this it doesn't really matter anyway because you can ungroup it or things like that and here is what we'll be offsetting the copy by so we want the translate y to go up by 6.3 and also if you want you can scale the object or rotate any of these different commands but for this we're just copying it in the translate y and we'll want about four copies so what this is going to do is take this object here that we've got selected the first copy will move up 6.3 the next copy will move up another 6.3 so that'll be 12.6 and it'll keep repeating that command four times for four copies so if we'll just go ahead and click duplicate and as you can see it's made four copies as you can see the first is 6.3 the next 12.6 and so on so that's a good way of just duplicating it over and over again and as you can see one's come off the top so we we're going to just move these down a bit to a position that we want and then I'll go ahead and maybe delete that top shelf okay so for that it was relatively easy we could have moved them myself but as I said, in other situations, you might have to rotate an object several different times, and it might be tedious. It's like if we had this shelf, if there's, I don't know, some situation where there's lots and lots of different shelves. With that one command, we could just duplicate them instead of having to move them and move them and keep duplicating them. Okay, so on top of that, over here in the UV texture editor, so to get this up, we can go Windows UV texture editor. As you can see, I've got some sort of a texture set up here, so the UVs are set out in this fashion, so we can set up some sort of a texture. So I'm just going to select these other shelves. So because we duplicated, it's duplicate the UVs. So if it came to a situation where I don't know, you had some sort of UVs that are all skewed over, so we'll just mess these UVs up a bit. So if we duplicated these af after setting up, well, if we duplicated them before setting up these UVs, so we've duplicated them, 
set up these UVs and these have got the original old UVs are messed up. Now because these are like duplicated objects, there's a way that we can say Maya to search this object, look at look at its UVs and copy the, those sets of UVs over to the ob the next object up. Now what we'll have to there's a few things that need to be correct is the vertex count of these objects. So if we select a vert C over here and zoom in the vertex count of this object has to be the same as the next object that you're going to put it into. So they have to have the same amount of vertex vertices and UVs and they have to be in the same position. So when we create this object, Maya gives each vertex a vertex count. And when we duplicate that, that vertex is the same count number. So the name same amount of vertices and the same order of vertices. So this vertice over here in this corner, for instance, might be vertice number 26. So when we duplicate that, this vertice up here is vertice 26, the same number. And that will also be the same with the UVs as well. So if you've got any sort of an object that's got a different vertex count, it won't work. So you've got to keep that in mind. And also if we modify these in any way, that might affect transferring the attributes. So to transfer the attributes, first we do select the driver, so what we want the attributes to come across from, so this has got the right UVs, so we want this object, then control, I mean shift and left click the second object, so we want the UVs from this to go on to, the, to map the UVs of this, so transfer them across, and then all we do is mesh and transfer attributes and go to the option box, and I'll just reset the settings of this. So what we'll want here is attribute settings instead of world space. So we don't want it to take the world point, so the grid as a reference. What we want to do this is, is take the component space. So it's going to take the spacing of this component here and compare it to the com component of this. If we did it to world, it would be looking in relation to the world and they're not in the same position. So we'll set that to component. And that's all we need to transfer the UVs. So I'll show you that again. Go to Mesh, Transfer Attributes, and on Attribute Settings, keep that to Component, and that'll transfer across these UVs. And now you'll see this sort of um, change in colour, which shows us a relationship. This has a relationship with this, so this has got incoming connections from this down here. So if we select that, as you can see, the UVs have been corrected. So as you can see, changing between these two objects, the UV sets the same. Now, the UVs on this, uh, again, the old UVs, so we can select this new UV set, this shelf again, shift select the next one and press G to repeat the last command, which is a transfer. Oh, wait. It was actually the UV command, so we'll just go to mesh, transfer attributes again. And as you can see, we've got the UVs back again, the good UVs. And we can hold the click the shelf, shift click, shift select the second shelf, and hit G key to repeat the last command, and that'll again set up, transfer the UVs over again. Okay, so with the UV set, what we can then do is select all these shelves. With all these shelves done, we can freeze transformation. Or you can go to modify freeze transformation if that's not on your shelf. And also we can go to edit delete by type history. And what that'll do is these have no transforms in them again. So after we've duplicated them, they'd had some translate Y, but we've wiped that. And deleting the history as you can see, there's no coloration because they've got no more incoming connections. And as you can see, it's kept the UV sets. So you don't have to worry about forget worry about it forgetting the UVs or anything like that. So that's a good way of duplicating similar objects and also transferring UVs. So it might be in this case it wasn't too difficult. We could move the object by manually placing it. We could set up the UVs for these objects quite quickly. It wouldn't take as much time. But in a scene file, so like if we had a library with 
loads and loads of bookshelves. It'll become, it'll just be too tedious to remove all these shelves, re-UV them. It's just a good idea to keep in mind that you can transfer the UVs or use, use some sort of duplicate special command.